My name is Manjri. I'm an 18-year-old tribal woman. I live with my husband, our two young children, and my husband's extended family in Indore, Madhya Pradesh, India. I've been doing brick kiln work since I was 11 years old. I work for 15 hours a day, starting work at 3 a.m. and finishing at 11 p.m. Often, I only manage to get only four or five hours of sleep. We have to work very hard to pay off the debt to our employer, who gives us a loan at the start of the contract. Our repayment is counted against bricks made, so we must make many bricks. Even though I work long hours at the kiln, I have to do all the work at home. I have to wash the dishes, make food, sweep the house, all the cleaning I have to do alone. Fetching water is very time-consuming. We have little access to water in the slums, as government tanks often deliver water with a gap of four or five days. It takes us two hours for each round of water collection. Last year, I was pregnant with my daughter, and I worked at the kilns right up until my ninth month of pregnancy. There was no break for me. It was very intense. I felt helpless and exhausted, but I had to continue. Even after I had the child, I could not stop for long. After 15 days of unpaid leave, with my baby to nurse, I had to return to work or face losing the job. When I'm working, I keep my children nearby. Have to leave them there, make them sit, they play. We keep an eye on them while we work. Between paid work, household tasks, caring for my children, there is no time to rest. There is barely time to sleep. I'm exhausted. Having access to a tap in the slum would ease my burden. Also, having some childcare facilities at the kilns would mean I could focus more on work and not worry about my children. Currently, there is no one in the community who helps me.